Welcome to Scene Lighting. My name is Daniel Hema, Director, Cinematographer and Colorist. And today we'll be looking at this frame. Okay. And uh, I'll tell I'll break down the frame and we'll discuss how um, the frame was lit. So first things first, behind the female talent in, in the bathroom towards the closet side, we had like a 300 that created a bounce, which we actually skipped down and flagged off using um, the architecture uh, fittings of the place that helped cut the light and actually brought it to the lower part where you could see the light behind her that's behind the potted plant from the right side of the frame we had a 1.2k hmi that was coming through an ended glass that was already tinted that had that we had not had to gel to sodium vapor then we used the shear cutting to fade it off the bed sheet to some point where you could see the directional strip of the light towards the talent that didn't get up to his face Above the talent, we had small um, units of LEDs that had cold temperatures that were close to 6,000 Kelvin. They actually um, was directly there was directly lighting the main the male talent on the bed, and the practical lamp was also beside him for um, the practical warmth feel and also adding to the entire frame. Behind the camera, towards just by the side of the camera. We actually made a bounce source to open up the ambience of the room and bring up the levels of the ambience in the room. And we staged the camera in such a way it was angled towards the mirror to use the mirror to create depth, which you could now see the artwork that is that's presently obscured by the lamp in the frame, which is obviously more visible in the mirror to act as a set extension to create depth of the frame. And this was how we were able to achieve this scene of the lights in the same so presently we just have three lights the 350 in the bathroom opening the 1.2k outside with the sodium vapor gel that was coming in through the um, from the balcony with um the warmth fill and we opened up just by the side of the camera there was a warm source just to bring up the ambience of the room and the spot leds that was looking down at 6000 kelvin to create color contrast and that's how we actually shot the entire um scene of this film in addition to what we did in this frame, we tried to avoid having saucy sauce because we're already surrounded by white walls. So any kind of specular lights or very hot spots would actually blow out the white walls already. So it was our best option and best call to go with more diffuse sauce to make it not actually saucy. So we were there, but we were not there. I don't know if you get what I mean. That way we were able to keep the white walls level to a minimum, able to create color contrast within the frame, Use the mirror to be able to achieve, achieve depth in our shot and we're able to like achieve the entire mood you could actually see in the frame. So yeah, that's what we did. Until next time, improvise, adapt. Okay.